Engine downspeeding and 6x2 powertrains are two proven fuel-saving technologies, but each has a downside. Axle maker Dana now has a solution that will make downspeeding and 6x2s work for many more fleets. Jim Park here from Maumee, Ohio this time, where Dana's engineering and marketing teams have given me the first media test drive of their latest innovation. It's called the Spicer Advantech 40 Dual Range Disconnect Tandem Drive Axle. It could change the way fleets spec their powertrains. The forward and rear axle ratios in Dana's dual range disconnect system are different, and that's the key to making this work. That may sound a bit strange, but here's Steve Wozlowski from Dana's Advanced Engineering Group to explain how that works. Uh, right now there's uh, two ratios that get blended in the 6x4 mode. Uh, the 4.88 on the rear rear gets blended with a 2.26 up front for a combined ratio of 3.10 to 1. Blending occurs primarily through the planetary differential and that's all done through the number of teeth on the, the sun gear versus the number of teeth on the ring of that planetary set. Here's what happens out on the road. With both axles driving in 6x4 mode, the drive ratio is 310 to 1. That gives you good startability, nice low speed maneuverability and the performance of a drivetrain with a higher numerical axle ratio. You also get the same traction you get now from your current 6x4 setup. Right now we're in 6x4 mode which means we've got power going to all four, uh, power going to all four wheels right now. The benefit to a system like this is it stays in 6x4 while you need the traction, while you, while you need the the, uh, the fast get up to cruise speed time uh, and you've got the benefit of having all that torque uh, spread out over four wheel ends as opposed to two. We get the savings when the system switches to six by two mode. Ultimately what you're trying to do is reduce the number of gear meshes between the transmission and the uh, front differential to improve rolling resistance, mechanically induced rolling resistance and to get yourself a more efficient drive axle ratio. To make the switch from 6x4 to 6x2, a series of actuators, clutches and synchronizers disengages the interaxle drive shaft. That leaves all the engine torque going only to the forward axle. We're at about 50 miles an hour right now. We're getting close to the point where we're going to make the uh, axle ratio shift. This is a 9-speed transmission with 10th gear locked out and the next gear shift we get is going to be an axle ratio switch, not a gear shift. So there we go. We just shifted from 6x4 to 6x2. So what that did was take us from a final drive ratio of 310, and that lowered the engine speed by about 300 RPM. Dana's engineers currently have the axle ratio shift set to happen at 54 miles per hour, which is the same speed the transmission would make its final upshift. When the drive axles are in 6x2 mode, you have the taller final drive ratio which drops the engine speed by about 3 to 400 RPM, saving fuel. The transmission is in direct drive which brings additional efficiency because there are fewer gear meshes. In fact, there's only one gear mesh in the entire drivetrain and that's at the front differential when the dual range disconnect is in 6x2 mode. And as you might expect, when the speed drops below 54 miles per hour, the interaxle drive shaft re-engages and the drive axles shift back to 6x4 mode with all the traction, maneuverability and performance you get from any 6x4 setup. What I'm going to do now is just coast a little bit and we're going to initiate uh, what amounts to a downshift. So right now, the drive shaft, the interaxle drive shaft is not turning. You can see that on camera. When I slow down enough and the system senses a cutoff speed, it's going to re-engage the uh, interaxle drive shaft. There it goes right there. And now we're back to uh, a 310 ratio between the two axles. The Spicer Advantech 40 dual range disconnect tandem axle drive system from Dana is a promising concept that gives fleets the advantages of both the 6x2 configuration and downspeeding, both proven fuel saving technologies with none of the perceived drawbacks of either technology. Dual range disconnect was previewed at the Mid-America Trucking Show in March of 2015. It's still in field tests. Hey, be sure to check out our other Focus on videos and please give them a like.
In Maumee, Ohio, I'm Equipment Editor Jim Park.